Hi, back again with me, Krista. On this episode, we're going to take a closer look at how to rotate your objects. Okay then, let's do it. First things first, click interaction. Now for this episode, I want to do something different. Whenever I click this text, the dog will be the one that rotates. So, what I have to do is click the text first, then choose this option. And then choose rotate. Now, let's click here to change the target object. And then click on the dock. Okay, done. Now, you can choose between rotate to and rotate by. As mentioned in the previous episode, if you choose rotate to, your object will only rotate once when you click it. But, if you choose rotate by, your object will rotate every time you click on the object. This time, I'm gonna go with rotate by. Then, I'll also set the coordinates here. You can set your delay movement and move duration here as well. But, I'm not gonna change anything, so I'll just skip this. And then, don't forget to choose the transition style. Alright, now that it's all set, let's click done. For one last time, I wanna make sure if my object rotates correctly. So, let's see the preview here. Okay, now, what I have in mind is the dog rotates once I click the text. So, let's try, and great, it works. Now, let's click on it again, then it will rotate again, and again, and so on. To end this episode, I also try to give you one example of how to apply this feature to your works or learning activities. This example is about solving the puzzle. Let's try clicking this piece, shall we? You can click it again until you get it right, and then move on to this one, and this one, and this one. Now, seems like we've got the right one, doesn't it? Let's put the pieces together by clicking the text. For your information, I'm using the move feature for this one. Okay, that's a wrap for today. There's only one episode left, so make sure to keep updated with us. See you later!